Oh my goodness. I got me some Maru Chan. Maru Chan. The Maru Chan. Maru Chan. Yaki Soba. Did I say that right? Yaki Soba. Yaki Soba. Only I'm not eating a teriyaki beef because this, 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 this is a teriyaki beef. And I, I started to open this one. I was tempted to do a comparison between the Maruchan teriyaki beef yakisoba or the Nissen 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 Chow Mein teriyaki beef. Uh oh, it's face off. Oh, 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 no, fight, fight noodles. But they're not fighting. Not this time. This time I did the cheese. I went cheese on that. I went and said, hey, let's do some cheesy noodles. I even put an egg in there. Boy, they're so solid. They're like not even falling. Oh, they are falling. But cheese. So, 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 so this is the Meru Chan Yakisoba cheese. The reason that I didn't want to do a comparison immediately was because I did a history of Nissen video first. So I want to do a history of Meru Chan video. History of Meru Chan video. That's right. Meru Chan. That's right, you gotta give equal treatment. Equal treatment, equal treatment. We did Nissen. Now we're gonna do some Mary Chan stuff. We got it first. First in 1953, the company was formed. Toyo Suisan Company. Oh, I'm probably not saying that right. Suisan, Suisan. Toyo Suisan. No, see what's It was founded by Kazuo Mori. Kazuo Mori. I looked up Kazuo Mori. It turns out there was also a film director from Japan by the name of Kazuo Mori. Uh, he was born on January 15th in 1911 and unfortunately he died in June 29th, 1989. This um, Kazuo Mori is not to be confused with the Kazuo Mori that founded Toyo Suisan Company which entered the raw men business in 1961. That's right, I learned, oh, I was looking at the screen. I was looking at the screen instead of looking at the camera. I keep doing that. I know somebody already told me about that. Ah, it's horrible. I'm, not, I'm so not used to being in front of the camera, it's ironic. Or at least not being in the front of the camera. No, let's not mention that. 1961, Maruchan or to Toyo Suisan entered the raw men business. I can't help but point out that that could have been partially influenced by Momofuku and O. Momofuku and O. He founded Nissan in 1958, and then in 1961, you know, uh, Kazuo Mori, or in 1961, Toyo Suisan entered the wrong bend business. It's like Toyo Suisan was already a food company. They were founded in 1953, right? Well, Momofuku Ando actually started his raw men, Nissen with the raw men in 1958, meaning he started a food company based on instant raw men in 1958. Toyo Suisan was already founded back in 1953. So, but yet, it wasn't until 1961 that Toyo Suisan decided to get into raw men. Probably again influenced by the 1958 invention by Nissan of the chicken ramen flavor. Because it says right on Nissan site that 1958 comes around the event chicken ramen, 10 other food companies start making ramen. Meaning, so this Maruchan or Toyo Suisan was one of the companies that a pre existing Japanese food company that specialized in frozen fish, I believe, that they diversified in 1961 into ramen after being influenced by Nissan. So this is one of those companies that was influenced. Now, I'm not going to discount the importance of Mary Chan or Toyo Suisan. As a matter of fact, we'll get to that. In 1970, Toyo, Toyo Suisan reached one of Japan's most prominent food companies. It became one of the highest ones. This is how the frequently asked questions. Their website was very, I'm gonna have other elements of their website embedded in my Mary Chan notes. Mary Chan notes. So 1970, Toyo Suisan, one of the top most prominent Japanese food companies dealing with frozen and fresh foods, and now raw men, of course. Uh, 1972, they go Toyo Suisan goes international. I hope I'm saying Toyo Suisan somewhat correct, correctly. 
1977, Mary Chan Incorporated oh, oh, and 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 start start with 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 found 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 was started up in Irvine, California. Toyo Sui San Incorporated as Mary Chan in the United States in 1977, headquartered in Irvine, California. Now. They have two more plants in Orange County, California. They have a plant in Richmond, Virginia. They got a plant in San Antonio, Texas. It's no wonder I take a picture of the raw men all and Mary Chan's dominating and Nissan's got a little tiny slice, my goodness. Even in Nissan, again, you know, they, they started a food company based on instant raw men and they popularized, invented and popularized instant raw men. Mary Chan used the head start they had in food marketing to jump into the United States market. Now this is where I should I could have converged Nissan and Marichan with when they came to the United States because I done forgot. I should I forgot to write that. I got distracted. Uh so 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 more information about Marichan on the website because now we spent almost six minutes on this. Meru means round and there's a connotation of friendliness in with the roundness. Wow that's interesting because Meru round and friendly that's like fat and jolly right in, in the in the west's interpretation of roundness but in another way in my way chan could be a child's name turns out and then there's a connotation of endearment so that's where meru chan comes from rounded friendly child i guess a uh, fat child i don't know yakisoba equals is pan fried pan fried noodles that have seasoning vegetables and meat that's what yakisoba means only this doesn't have meat unless you count egg as being meat my big egg in there egg, egg. okay they're also mary chan is part of the rspo the round table on the sustainable palm oil that's right this and they were like Everybody had to jump into that. There's actually on Mary Chan's website a nice interesting graphic that depicts their history from 1978 to 2004. There's also an infographic that shows all the different places that Mary Chan exports their noodles to and when they started exporting them. Mary Chan makes 3.6 billion packs a year. That means if you were to stretch Mary Chan noodles end to end and what they make in a year you can go from Earth to Mars. Man, that's some noodles. Okay, now the, the website Mary Chan also has a graphic showing you how the noodles are made. This is interesting. There's also just like the Nissan site, there's a uh, <laughs> recipes and shows all their products. Also somewhere, again, I got distracted. I got a phone call, so I'm on a deadline. Oh, deadline. Got distracted by somebody calling me. I was gonna point out. I'm about to forget now. Right on the website, there was a comment somewhere. It wasn't the frequently asked questions. It wasn't in the about section. It was somewhere about, somewhere in there where Mary Chan says on the website, unlike competitors, we have not changed our formula for 30 years. Okay, they've added lower sodium alternative flavors but they haven't altered all their play. I think that's a jab at Nissan right there because they're trying to say, We're, we stay consistent. This is like the people that argue against like classic Coke versus whatever that Coke version of Coca-Cola came out temporarily. Everybody hated it. hated it. Which again, a lot of people say that was just a sneaky way to introduce corn syrup to replace sugar. Because even when they reformulated Coke back to its original recipe, they were still using corn syrup instead of sugar, I think. Anyway. That's enough about Coca-Cola, Mary Chan, this and uh, Mars. Uh, noodles, noodles to noodles Mars. Mars. And somewhere in the graphic, again, I got to start, I couldn't write down everything, and already I'm freaking eight. Eight freaking minutes. I hope these nails ain't still hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. All the cheese. All the cheese. And you know what? I made it into spicy nacho cheese ramen. That's right, I put jalapeno rings and cut them up in there. Mmm, mmm. Spicy cheese, not spicy nachos, ramen. Spicy nacho. Yaki soba. Mmm. But is it yaki soba? I'm not even gonna be able to eat all, I should just... Mm. I should stop filming and eat all the noodles real quick now. 
It's not even a challenge to get fast. It's just somebody who's gonna come over at like almost seven o'clock and now they're gonna come over at 5 30. I mean <laughs> I shouldn't complain. I was like I'm in class earlier. It's just I got caught off guard. And I was not screwing around today. Man. It would help if I woke up earlier than like one o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock in the afternoon. Mmm. 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 It has a creamy, cheesy flavor. And it's so nice. I mean, that stuff is so good. It's like macaroni and cheese, but with ramen noodles. And not only ramen, it's the flat, wide, yakisoba ramen. Mm. Well, these, these noodles have a different, a slightly different texture. Where they, instead of being stringy little, instead of being stringy little angel hair pasta, this is a, I want to say it's like a fettuccine. Fettuccine! Cheesy nachos. Cheesy hot and spicy nacho 15. What an egg in it. What an egg in it. Mm. Yeah, Mario. We got the noodles. We got the spicy ramen noodles. The spicy nacho ramen noodles. Crossing all kind of cultures with that. Oh, we got the. Wow, we got the nachos. We got the fettuccine. We got the yakisoba. Oh! oh. Talk about diversity. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's right, who thought? I have to think about it like that. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The fettuccine, spicy nacho, yakisoba. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I cooked it right in this bowl. Covered it with a plate. You know the fill lawn, and then the instructions are very explicit about the fill lawn. Very explicit. Oh my goodness, the instructions are scaring it. Mmm. The lid. You just have to peel half off so that it can boil over. So it can boil over. <laughs> no. I think it's the instructions for a thousand watt microwave. That's the problem because I have a 700 watt microwave. It means it takes longer for the water to start boiling and I think it means it makes more smaller bubbles which is the foam tries to boil over the, the top to side but it, it brings liquid with it. Mm. I forgot what principle of physics that is. I mean, it's like a liquid with a certain viscosity can literally leak itself out of a container. Newtonian fluid or whatever, like. I don't know, balls. This ain't no science class. You know, I love this one. It's like pour water on top of the nose, add water to fill on, as indicated on container by arrows. Failure to add water to the fill line may cause product to ignite and burn. I'm not lying. It says, <laughs> take a picture. I'm gonna put a picture right up on there, you know, it's like, me. That's right. I would never suggest it. On that day, on that last day of work, you go into that company break room. <laughs> no! Do not go into the company break room on your last day at work and throw one of these in the microwave for five minutes. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. Or, or 
10 minutes. And you get the cost of a new microwave deducted out of your last check. Oh. Burn. I measured the water, 350 milliliters. That would be about a little under a, a cup and a half. And now we're spilling this to the fill on without without having a noodle on it. So they're right there. I thought I was gonna get a. I thought I was gonna get a skewed measurement, but I took a picture again. We filled the first measuring cup to 250. The second measuring cup was right at 75 milliliters. So it was like right there. So 350 milliliter, you turn the measuring cup around to the English side, it's like that line between a half and a third or whatever, like, mm. I don't even want to care what that line means, so. mm. what is it, five eighths? <laughs> mm. I feel like I'm dealing with English tools versus metric tools. Mmm, down to your little yo. Stuck. Oh, it almost stuck to the side there. It kind of did because I, I stirred the cheese in first. No, I put the egg in first, then I stirred the cheese around it. I had to be careful not to break this little yolk because you know. Mmm. 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 Yakasoba! That stuff was good. I do again. I'm not gonna do another documentary again if it's gonna be 17 minutes, dang! <laughs>